Alrighty guys, so we're talking about the appraisal process, how to streamline it, and how to ensure that you do not get a low appraisal. Appraisals are very tough to dispute. Most appraisers aren't gonna give you the time of day. And so to avoid all that, you can do these simple steps that will ensure that you don't get a low appraisal and ensure that you have direct communication with the appraiser. So number one is, <clears throat> As soon as the property goes under contract and the buyer schedules their home inspection, I like to turn the showings off or make it appointment required. By making an appointment required, you as a listing agent can still confirm that appointment. I also will shrink the time so that I'm not sitting at the house for an hour, an hour and a half waiting for the appraiser. Um, I like when he schedules via showing time because I'll have, uh, I'll have all the contact information for the appraiser, his name, his phone number, his email. Number two is I will reply to that email with the comps that I use that support the contract price. Appraisers get a copy of the contract. Some of you guys know, some of you guys don't know, but they already know the contract price, which is why most appraisals come in at contract price. When I send the comps, I'm gonna use uh, not over one mile radius. Everything's gonna be within six months. Similar bed, bath, and square footage count. Also, I'm going to make sure that it's similar home style. I'll include maybe one contingent, but the rest will be closed. I'll also include the update sheet, a list of all the updates that were made to the property, and I will include copy the floor plan and copy the survey if I have those two things. Appraisers will definitely appreciate that. I'll also print off all of those items for the actual meeting. <clears throat> I'll meet the appraiser at the property. I'll come early. I'll get all the lights on, open the door, make sure the heat's on, make sure the home looks good, feels good, smells good. Treat the appraisal just like any other showing. I'll walk the appraiser through. I'll paint the picture of maybe why we had um, an offer that's over contract price. Let them know that we had multiple offers. In some case, I'll bring a copy of those contracts to prove multiple offers. Obviously, black out the name, and you really only need the, the top page showing him that you had multiple offers. Again, paint that picture. Make the story super, super strong. I'll also do my research and make sure that there's not comps that I don't want him to use. Maybe a house sold for less that was the same exact home or style, but it backs up to power lines or it's in a floodplain or it's on a busy road. I'll also point those out that will definitely help paint the picture. During the appraisal, I'll ask really one main key question. Hey, was this appraisal ordered on a rush? That will give me insight to when it's due or when the appraiser is going to have the report done. A lot of times the guys will tell you, oh, I'll have this done by the end of the week or I'll have this done by tomorrow. Appraisal Appraisers do it one of two ways. They either do all their research ahead of time, which is why you wanna email them everything, or they'll do nothing ahead of time and they'll come to the property, get all the information, then go back to their office and complete the report. We just did an appraisal a day ago. Literally, the lender received the appraisal the next day. You know that that appraiser did all of his homework ahead of time. He only came to the property to confirm dimensions, get a few uh, items to complete his appraisal report, and then he was done. So by doing these simple, simple steps, you can avoid low appraisals, you can have direct contact with the appraiser, and you can make sure that you take your transaction all the way to the finish line. See you guys soon.